find you, you're dead! Mr. Azizi. Can I call my mother now? You can't call your mother. You gotta understand, I talk to my mum at least 10 times a day. If she thinks I've run away, she'll try to marry me off to Dorcas. If I tell her I've been shot, she might let me stay in Australia. The less your family knows, the safer they are. You're going into the witness protection program. Your old life is finished. You've got a new name, new home, new job. It's just one phone call. I need to feed my lovebirds. Lovebirds? Beach-faced? Mask. Is there anything else I should know about you, Mr. Azizi? Jeff, stop all non-essential policing. The ruby-throated hummingbird. Wow, that's a level nine. I know it's a level nine. Where's yours? What's that? The squirrel. Well, it looks like a floral turd. What have I told you, Jeff? Sausage fingers and origami don't mix. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We're doing some policing here. This is the witness in the Baskobel affair. His henchman shot me. Ah, Saeed is easy. I understand that you overheard Roberto Baskobel talking about an arms deal. I saw it. I was buying bird seed. He has lovebirds. Oh, really? Peach faced. Mast, look, what is going to happen to me? We're sending you to the safest possible place in the country, Mr. Azizi. Fafaf. Pardon? Fafaf. What? Jeff, speak up. Your jowls are making it hard to understand. Faf, af. What is that? Well, if you're asking for the meaning, it's Welsh for stench of bog. It's a little town in the north of New South Wales. I live in Melbourne. Are you sure it's not pronounced that hath? As in thou that hath given me a skin disease? That is a million miles away. Which makes it perfect, because I've never heard of it. What's his job? Manager of town centre, the local shopping centre. I work in graphic design. And your new name is Stanley Pisk. Who makes these decisions? Yeah, who made that decision? We're at the end of our names list. There's either that or Gurley, Hyman or Plop. My name's Stanley Pisk. I'm going to be the manager of a shopping centre in a town called Thapeth. And if anyone asks, <sighs> you've gone to Darwin to join the Navy. You can have one phone call to explain to your family and then you'd have no contact with your former life. No one can know who you are or where you are. How long is this going to go for? However long it takes to nail Roberto Bascobble. <laughs> the most evil slug of a crime lord. What is that? It's the praying mantis. Are you trying to embarrass us in front of Mr. Pisk? I can't do the wet fold. That's because you've got ten sticks of cabanossi hanging off your hands. You've got five minutes. Don't waste it. Can you teach me the panther mask? Why, Jeff? Why? Knock yourself out. Mum. Said, son, you ran away? No, I, I didn't run away, Mum. I promise. You break my heart and kill your birds. They died? In a cage? Yes, in cage. You ran away from your mama, so I buy plane ticket. Dorcas excited for wedding. No, Mum, Mum, Mum. I, I didn't run away. Okay, listen. I can't go to Iraq, okay? Um, I'm moving to Darwin to join the Navy. <laughs> Mum, don't, don't cry. Baby. Liar, Saeed. Your father and I will not come to this country by dangerous and illegal ways for you to run away. When I find you, son, I will send you to Iraq and make you marry cousin daughter.
think he's better than Mary Dorcas. Pressure is my friend. Solutions are birthed in the womb of pressure. The testicles of turmoil plant the seed of trial. Gus! Gus, we're all on downstairs here waiting for you. You coming? Gus! Gus! Oh, whoa, whoa, you're not, you're not Gus. Who might you be? Say, Stanley, Piss, Pisk. Um, I am the new manager of Town Centre. New manager? What happened to Gus? I don't know Gus, but he um, left a flock of swallows in my office. Yeah, that's my Gus. Y you work here? Ah, oh, my apologies. Cameron Schmidt, manager for More for Less. So, welcome to Thatteth. You're gonna love it here. Everyone knows everyone, everyone knows about everyone. Just like living on Facebook, really. Hey, see that? Central Plus, or as I like to call it, Pooville. Well, this center's not too far off Pooville. Well, what are you going to do about that? About what? About all the customers we're losing to Central Plus. Uh, my skill set really lays in another field. It would probably be best if I just stayed here in the Ooh. office. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry, that's uh, something Gus and I do. I mean, did. Larvae, eh? very good protein. Anyway, we're late for this meeting, you coming? A, a meeting? Yeah, we're, every Monday morning we have a meeting with Gus. You coming? Are you from Arabia? Uh, no, Sydney. You know, but I mean, are you, uh, you Arabian? Like as in Aladdin, you know? Walk like an Egyptian. No, I'm Arabian. not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not Aladdin or, or Arabian or anything like that. Sorry, sorry. I was just uh, trying to work out your cultural back. Uh, anyway, we go to this meeting quick. Hurry, come on. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the uh, managers' meeting. Sue, Keith, Emily, Peter, Katrina, everyone. This is. Stan. Oh, is he the new cleaner? Did we have a cleaner? No, uh, Stan is the new centre manager. And uh, he's not from Arabia. Where's Gus? Uh, Gus is gone. Gone? Yeah. He didn't say he was leaving. How'd he die? Poison? No one said he died. Well, Maybe he's gone on a mini break. Maybe he's just retired. Or perhaps got admitted. Or maybe he's Ooh. in the morgue. Gus isn't dead. You know, the thing I really loved about Gus is that he always let us do our own thing. And, and well, you know, Stan here is no different. He loves my Melbourne Cup idea, loves it. No, I don't. What? What idea? You know, the, the, I told you last week, you know, Melbourne Cup day, we're going to turn the whole place into a stable. Horses, jockeys, hats, Can colour. I, you, want, you want horses in here? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that like in five months? I'll be out of business by then. Listen, somebody should notify Gus's next of kin. We can't work on the same ID for five months. It just won't work. It's not even a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the manager. What are your ideas for the town centre? Uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, well, we could start by having a proper meeting and we could discuss ideas and problems, make lists, pros and cons, try and get the town centre back on track. What's, what's wrong with that one? <coughs> Look, uh, Stan, uh, I know you're from Aladdin and you've got your cultural ways, but uh, Gus would never have allowed all of us to have a say. He would never have let that happen. It'd be chaos. Only the, you know, like the uh, 
trusted and experienced really should be in charge, don't you think? <laughs> We've got to talk about the OH and S loading dock. It's trip over every time. And there is a terrible and smell coming from one of the That's walls where in my shop. That's in the wall. Somebody's hit him in the wall. And so it's like a meeting party. It's going to be like a cocktail party. You've got to get a plumber. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Plumbing. We have to get a plumber in. We've only got one toilet that's left. If that goes, we will be Pooville. Okay, well, let's start there. Who's the local plumber? Gus. Gus. Of course he is. And, uh, just hold up there, guys. Uh, Stan, I'd like you to meet my staff. This is uh, Peter Hoyle. It's my 2IC and Emily Kingsley, my 3IC. Welcome to the madhouse. What did you do? Get shot? <laughs> no. Oh, and this is Mel. And she's Chinese. Uh, hi, Stanley. Stanley. Yep. She speaks. <clears throat> uh, why don't you three go and open up the shop? That'd be good. Three, three, thanks. Thank you. Listen, Stan, uh, I. I I don't think it's a good idea, this meeting thing, you know, brainstorming. I've got all the good ideas right here. I mean, look at this one. Indoor electric light show, huh? With a jungle, hmm? We ring up Dubbo Zoo, they'll lend us a panther, and I've got a licence for a python. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, fair enough. Well, what about a waterfall? Indoor waterfall, never heard of I've got to go talk to other people, okay? Sure, sure, you can. Yeah. What about a celebrity cook-off? I know Daryl Summers. Ooh. Years, man, you know? And the ideas keep coming. What about a free water slide? People love that stuff. Free water slide. Key. Oh. Should we come back later or something? Pilates. Man's got to keep a strong pelvic floor, you know? Michael. Stan, new general manager. What happened to Gus? Poison, arsenic. Mm. Look, look we, we don't know what happened to Gus, okay? But, but Stan here, he's big on ideas, especially mine, huh, Stan? Well, well, we'll talk about that at the meeting. But you said there wasn't going to be a meeting, remember? No, we are having a meeting. Gentlemen, 5.30, meeting room. Uh, yes, Michael. Do I have to wear my promotional outfit to the meeting? Yes, you do. It's in your contract. All staff must wear promotional dress. We're promoting Keith's Gaming Highway, a winter wolfland. Prowl on in and wolf down a bargain. Ooh! My head smells? Yes, it does. Okay, um, I'm gonna go confirm with everyone else. Good. Good. Uh, it, it's fine. I can do this by myself, thanks. Oh, good. That's good. <clears throat> no! Mm. I'll get you some credit, all right? Katrina! What do you mean? Hey, hey, no. Kit Kat! Kit Kat! Hey, Kit Kat, here's the order! Oh, my... Oops! Oh... oh. Yeah, okay, so, all right, bye. Tim! Oh, there was Cameron on the phone telling me that the cocktail party this over with the new guy, it's cancelled. What? No, it, it's not cancelled. Can I help you? Uh, Tam, this is the new manager guy I was telling you about. Tamara, Tam, <laughs> like a biscuit. <laughs> Katrina, Sheridan. Oh, well, it's lo lovely to meet both of you. Yes, and you too. <laughs> we love you, man, don't we, Kat? <laughs> Tam. Go and clean the mirrors in the change room. Someone's been snogging their reflection again. But I did them yesterday. Do it! Now. <laughs> so, um... So this, um, meeting party, it's, um, definitely still on? Yeah, definitely. 5.30. <sighs> I can't oh, wait. Okay, you're right! There's, there's red lipstick everywhere! What does Brit lose as snogs a mirror? <laughs> You're late, Stephanie. I have an audition. I have to get into character. You're at work? An artist is always at work. Oh, what's the play? It's a breakthrough role and I am damn well gonna get it. I'm gonna be playing a child. Stephanie, what are you doing? Stephanie, Stephanie, there is a thousand dollars worth of china there. Stephanie, I have told you not to touch the wedding memorial plates. The acid from your fingers will corrode Dinah's face. Oh, I'm sorry, aren't you? Stephanie, too? if you can't be normal, you're going to be working in the stockroom for the rest of the afternoon. <gasps> not the scary 
we were. Oh, oh Stephanie, yeah. please be normal. Is everything okay? Hello. This is uh, my step-niece, Stephanie, and apparently she can't be normal today. Hi, Stephanie. I'm Stanley. Lovely to meet you. Hi. Consider yourself at home. I will. Um, just a reminder about the meeting this afternoon. It's cancelled, isn't it? No, it's, it's not cancelled. Not cancelled. Bye, Stephanie. Oh, oh, excuse me. I am sorry. Oh, you are a new person. I'm the new centre manager, Stan. Oh, what happened to... I don't know what happened to Gus. Uh, well, I'm Carly. We don't have any Muslims in town. I'm not Muslim. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, do you work here? Oh, no. No, I'm not allowed to work. I mean, my husband's the one that works, so... I'm far too busy to work anyway. Busy, busy, busy. I'm late for my sandstone wax exfoliation injection therapy. It stings like hell, but I think it gives my eyes a special shine. Why are you telling people a meeting after it has to be cancelled? I told you, we don't need a meeting. I got all the ideas we need right here. No, we have to have a meeting. I need to hear from everyone. I've got, I've got to take this. Hello? Hi, Mr. Azizi. How are you settling into your new life in that hath? Not good, I'm afraid. We got some exciting news. We found some other witnesses. Other witnesses? I don't think I can do this, Jeff. It's too much. This place is like a mouldy nut. The womb of pressure has won too many stray birds. I have to get out of here. See, the problem there is it's a lot of paperwork and I have to find a pen. Please, Jeff. So who's Jeff? I'll see you at the meeting. Hey, see, my mum was always like, eh, don't play video games, it'll make you go blind. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, me too. I know, wait. No, she said, it'll rot your brain. Or like the iron, iron fist and stuff? That, well, I don't know. What's that? Like, you know, like, um... Jam? Jam. Oh, my God, I love jam. Yeah, I'm a massive fan of jam. What do you... Plus, they taste delicious. You know who's like Romulus and Remus were? Right. And then like, he hit the A button so many times his arm fell off. True story. Hey. Hello. Hello. Got you something from the bakery? Ooh, what'd you get me? <sighs> Just a turd cart. Where is this bakery? In the toilet? What? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to watch my poo intake. Oh, ah, yeah. turd card. <laughs> right. Good choice. Good afternoon, ladies. Did we get the dress code right? I wasn't sure, but Kat said that the pineapple look was really hot right now. Yeah, it totally suits you. You've got that solid, round shape. I can't pull it off, because I just look hot in everything. You shouldn't have gone to so much trouble. Please, take a seat. Hi, Peter. Hey, Trina. So, what do you think of this new guy? No, he doesn't really fit in. I'm thinking of asking him out. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> He's not my type. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> well, I'll ask him out then. We could share interests, like... Mm. Crumping, dance fighting, asphyxiation, vampirism, moth collecting. What? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, Stephanie, you remember me, Stanley? You smell like gherkins wrapped in compost and puffs. 
Okay. Thank, thank you. Okay. Um, first, I'd like to um, start by saying... I'd like to start the meeting by saying, you can all go home now. The purpose of you all being here... Is to waste your time. Uh, oh, 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 excuse me, this, this is a staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I can only stay for an hour. No, oh, oh, I'm sorry, it's a staff meeting, so if you could please leave. Thank you. Anyway, as I was saying... As I was saying, the reason why we're all here is so we can all get on the same page, OK? This meeting is a pile of crap. L excuse me, lady, I can still see you. Thank you. Carly, come in, sit down. You can stay. Come in. Come in. Sit down. This is my meeting. What's that smell? Oh, that's... Ew. Oh, that's a I think that's... Urine. I know that smell from anywhere. Oh. Step oh, my God. What is that wet patch on your oh, skin? Oh, that is so disgusting. Oh, Kat, you can't say that about... What? She pissed her dress? That's disgusting. If you don't stop this embarrassing behaviour, you are going to stay in the stockroom for the rest of your life. No, not the scary man. Oh, no. 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 Okay. Calm down. Everything's okay. Calm down. Get your hands on now! Meeting adjourned, 542. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Piss, kid, and piss. <laughs> that was the best improv I have ever done. Wow. Stephanie English, lead performer of Thespress Theatre Group. Thespians Express Theatre Group. We're putting on an all-female version of Oliver Twist and I will be getting the lead. Olivia Twist. Yeah. I thought you were, um, special. I am special. I'm an actor. She's very method. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, this just indicates the size of my talent. I don't feel too good. Hi, uh, <clears throat> I bought you a little something. I was saving it for Gus, but uh, I want you to have them. Thanks. So you're going to tell me some ideas, or...? I want to apologise, OK, for yesterday, for being such a jerk. It's fine. I'm leaving. You what? Well, you think I'm a bad manager. And it's fine. I agree, too. I don't think that. And the others think the sun shines out of your Arabian nights. I am not Arab. All right, OK, sorry, you're not, you're not Arab. Look, Stan, you don't understand. Our lives depend on this shopping centre, OK? I lost my farm in the drought. It was in my family for seven generations. The only way I'm going to get that farm back is through this job. You know, when, when Centre Plus opened here a year ago, the, the crowd, that they, they left in flocks. They just, I tried talking to Gus about that. He, he wouldn't listen. Please, Stan. Please. You've got to help us save Town Centre. Jeff, I was just about to call you. Sorry. Bad news. Our Scoble has put a reward out for information about you. What does that mean? It means I can't move you. It's too risky. I still can't find a pen. How much are they offering? 200,000. Right up. I'm off to yoga. Roberto Bascobble. 200,000. You will die. You're dead. Beth, 
have no contact. Right there, Stan. There's a price on your head. And it's 375. <laughs> Okay, Cameron, take a seat. Let's have a chat. Now that's a good idea. All right, what about Sheepdog Day? You ever seen them things? You can walk on their backs. The parents will love that. Oh, here's a good one. Tractor Day. Oh, cleanest tractor. Almost impossible around here, honestly. 